Hello, it's the designer of LegendaryInterviews.com, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a watermark in my last Cyberlink PowerDirector 10 tutorial um, on how to apply a watermark to your video. I promised you guys I would show you how to make one, and um, I'm going to show you how to make one using this free software. It's called uh, Photo Post Pro. Um, it's a really good alternative to Photoshop. Hey, it does many of the same things that Photoshop can do, and it's free. Um, maybe later I will show you guys, for those of you who do have Photoshop, um, how to make a watermark using Photoshop. But um, for now, I'm going to show you how to make a watermark um, using this program. You go to New, Blank Image, and um, I already said it, 6 and um, two, and make sure it's in inches. That's if you want it in that shape. You I, you, you can pick whatever shape you want the image to be in, or the watermark. Um, by default, it'll automatically be at white, I think. Um, so go here, click transparent, so you have a transparent background. Because for Cyberlink, uh, the image you apply into there has to have a transparent background. Click OK there's your image and today I'm just gonna show you guys how to make our, how I make my watermark for my videos and um, all I'm gonna do is just go to my desktop real quick here I have my legendary reviews emblem here I'm gonna open it in photo post pro and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna paste it into here And um, just like that, there I have my um, my little icon. And um, basically, all you do is just go to the text tool and um, apply the text. And um, once you've applied the text, you can customize it. So I usually use um, Calibri for um, all of our fonts. We're going to want to make it bigger. Uh, let's go with 40 for now. We'll see if that's um, big enough later. You can use a, um, you, you can pick your color here. I, I'm just going to make it uh, just uh, blue. And um, it's too big, so you right click on it. Click Edit Text if you want to change it. I'm going to highlight it. And I'm going to make the font 24. And uh, from the looks of it, that is a pretty good size. All I have to do is Gonna have to make it a little bit bigger. I mean, a little smaller. Let's go with 20. And there you go. That is the Legendary Views watermark. Um, now a lot of you guys already have your own logos. So if you already do have a logo and it doesn't have a transparent background that is very simple here I have a sample logo I'm gonna open it in photo post pro and as you guys can see right here it has a white background and if I was to put this in the cyberlink as a watermark um, it would show all the white parts now what you gotta do is by default uh, transparency is not enabled so what you gotta do is click on that little lock It'll unlock transparency, and what you got to do is use the magic wands tool, click, then right click, and click clear up. And you have a transparent background. Um, you're going to want to get the O's or anything that has not been cleared up and made transparent the first time.
And there you go. I have a transparent Windows background. I mean, uh, watermark here. Now, uh, you, what you guys are going to want to do is when you save it, you got to make sure you save it as a PNG. Because um, PNGs um, are basically the only format that support high quality transparent images. You guys could use GIFs, but I mean, they're not as high quality quality as a PNG. So I would recommend using a PNG. If you use a JPEG or anything else, uh, what's going to happen is it's it, you're not going to have the transparency. Um, so that's basically about it. See you guys in my next Cyberlink Power Director 10 tutorial. And don't forget to go to legendaryviews.com for game reviews, downloads, and much, much more.